this past Monday, um, Monday, sometime like mid Monday morning, uh, Big E tweeted out that he was going to be at Monday Night Raw and he was going to cash in his money in the bank briefcase on uh, on Bobby Lashley. And Bobby! Um, so pretty please watch. So pretty please watch because uh, cause Vince likes that. It turns me on. Um, <laughs> um, and then obviously, uh, did show up, did become the new WWE champion. Um, Ryan, are you watching on Periscope? No. Oh. I think you lied. It turns me on. <laughs> um... Let's Down start there. <laughs> <laughs> um, did you did you like like him calling his shot? Like, um, I mean, it was obvious Monday Night Football was back. Try and get people to tune in. Um, did you like the manner in which it was done? Calls a shot in the morning, shows up, follows through, new champ. Technically, he called a shot on Friday, and people missed it because he said he was going to cash in tonight. He said, I'm going to cash in tonight or Monday on Raw. But true. He didn't cash in on Friday, so then he cashes in Monday, and he does the deal. And I'm fine with it. Yeah, I like it. I mean, it's... it's Has, the, has that... Has that... Besides, like... You know, I want to cash in because I think we've seen like I'm cashing in for a title shot at a pay, like a pay per view or something. Um, have we like I don't think we've seen it in this exact manner before, have we? Um, the only other time I've seen something like this, so Bobby Lashley pretty much called his shot when he took the Miz's Money in the Bank. Bob, 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 Bob. Bob, Bob. Um, RVD called his shot. Okay. It's been a while. It, at the very least, it's been a while since we've seen somebody call their shot. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I like it. I mean, it, it's, you know, as long as you don't do it this way every time so that it becomes a predictable method. Um, then well, they got the ratings, so now they might. <laughs> Um, Matt Ryan, you guys thoughts on Matt Ryan is here. <laughs> he is Matty Ice. He's he's so, probably gonna he's I mean, probably gonna do better on this show. Say, he's probably he's not on... not gonna have much else to do here soon. <laughs> <laughs> I is he still taking a dirt nap. <laughs> probably <laughs> that picture was fantastic. Like I I don't I don't Coupled support the, the Eagles tree. doing good things, but. Did you see it coupled with the tweet from that guard who said, if you want your quarterback protected, draft me? And then he's standing right next to Matt Ryan's Man. broken Man. body. Fantastic. <laughs> um, I I don't have an issue with the way they did it. I understand why they did it. I was just giving shit. But it, it made people watch it. It accomplished what they wanted to accomplish. So you can't really say, you know, they made a mistake in doing that. I wouldn't like to see it done all the time either just because – the surprise cash in is always fun, but you know, for a one off, it was it was cool. Scotty joining us. Scotty back on the East Coast now. East we knew he Coast, was Scotty eating a tasty cake. Well, welcome back, Scotty. Welcome back to the to this side of uh, of the United States. We're so uh, close yet so far. Um, but Ryan, what did you think of the? Yeah, uh, no, that's fine. The guy called a shot. I don't see what anybody would have an issue with it. Okay. Um, I mean, I saw people have an issue with it. They're just doing this to pop a rating. Blah, blah, blah. Like AEW I mean, doesn't fucking. But yeah, that's that's great. But isn't that what AEW is doing when they're saying next week? Right. Uh, you can't compare the two. I understand that. But when when they announced that Kenny Omega is wrestling Brian Danielson at like the tennis courts. That's the same thing. I don't see what the difference right, is. Like you're you're basically putting a two night pay per view on TV right. next week. Next Wednesday, watch because this match is happening. There's no difference. 
Well, and like the Dynamite's well, trying to pop a rating having Daniel if, Bryan if, if, wrestling every the week, Kenny Omega point point bang bang. If every week the argument and and not even not even about ratings, but if every week the argument about Monday Night Raw is you give me no reason to watch this show. WWE gave you a reason on Monday. They told you Big E is going to cash in his Money in the Bank briefcase. That's what he said. Like, if you are a Big E fan or you want to see Big E become WWE champion, then th there's a reason to watch Monday Night Raw. Because he didn't say he was going to cash it in at the start. He didn't say he was going to cash it in, you know, in the middle of Raw. He didn't say he was going to cash in at the end. He just said he was going to cash in. So you kind of got to tune in to see when he's cashing in. Um, also, I was like 76% sure that he wasn't going to cash in and I was going to be really pissed off at Raw. Oh, I 100% didn't expect him to actually cash in. I was I shocked thought, that they followed through. I thought it was actually literally just a ploy to get people to watch. I thought it was, you know, he was going to tease a cash in or something was going to happen. Like a referee doesn't understand how to hand the briefcase to the ring announcer. Uh, you know, one of those deals. And then like Biggie gets attacked and the cash in never officially happens. I do. What? With what this? do you want me to do with this? Like what referees, this? Like, this. he's cashing it in and the ring announcer's like, <laughs> what do you want me to do? Are you sure? Are you sure about that? Are you, are you sure you want me to you call sure? over the, the ring announcer? Who's like, you are you sure, sure about that? that? You want to do what? You're doing what with this briefcase that gets you a title shot? You want right after Bob Lashley hurt his knee, power bombing another oh, guy. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. Like this guy's hurt. Are you sure you? Do you want to really? Uh, do you really want to do this? Um, I ring the bell. I guess I don't know. Scotty says, "Love the cash in. Wish it was a surprise." It was a surprise. We all just said we were shocked they did it. Right. Yeah, I mean, I actually, yes, I, I'm shocked they did it. And I'm, I'm also shocked that once they did it, uh, it was a successful cash in because there was definitely a part of me that once he cashed it in and Lashley's on one leg, that I'm like, they're still going to have like Big E lose here. Like I, I was waiting for the moment where they screwed it up because <laughs> like it, it, that, that, that does tend to happen. Um, yeah, he points out uh, Mike Kyoto when Carmella cashed in and said, are you sure? Yep, that's what I'm doing here. I understand I understand the rules of said briefcase, and I'm and I'm going to cash in We're right now. Um, but yeah, it, it, it's... Um, now, another part of, of what they did um, was Biggie came down with the referee. The referee... Um, announced that he was cashing in and then they went to commercial and i saw a lot of people going this is the worst time for a commercial ever and i went nope that's actually a really fucking smart time for a commercial because anybody that's not watching the show right now that does want to see that cash in if they're on social media and chances they are um they're finding out that biggie is cashing in so they're probably going to tune in for the last three minutes of monday night Raw. Um, it was the same reason why CM Punk had an entrance and then a commercial and then his opening promo when he debuted in AEW. Like, that's smart business. Um, you know, you, you may think of it as, well, you know, why wouldn't he want to start the match, you know, to when, when Lashley's like right there and his legs hurting, it's like, you know, we know why we're doing this, <laughs> you know, there's, there's a, there's a reason. Do people not still understand that this yes. is a television show yes. first and foremost? Nobody gets that. Okay. <laughs> like, it, like whether you're there live, it's still real to me. Damn it, clip. How do I? I actually don't. <laughs> How do I not have that clip on the board? <laughs> I will have it next week. I can't believe you don't have that. I feel like we've That's, had that. I feel like I've heard it on this show. That's. Just, I shocking. don't have I don't have it on this board. Oh wow! I must have had it on the other board, which I think I can still pull that up. You have a new board? Yeah, it's a different site. Oh oh, it's a different site. Oh, this is gonna take too much time. Yeah, I'm just gonna say I don't have it. <laughs> Fair. Fair enough. But yes, I I've I've, I've failed you. <laughs> I fucked up. 
Um, but yeah, I, I, yes, Ryan. To, to answer your question, Ryan, yes, people don't realize that it's a TV show, and uh, you know, it, it like you're in the crowd, you're just an extra. It's a TV show. Yeah, you know it when you, like the lightning, like when uh, the Undertaker's entrances and stuff, like. It wasn't lightning in the crowd. It's a, it's a TV show. Uh, huh? I know. Oh, right, that, that one show we went to where The Undertaker was there, there was actual lightning flying around. There was lightning. I feel like. Was I drunk? Thunder Do I remember? I think we were all on acid. Jim, it was oh. awesome. <laughs> That's for sure. Um. Um. Does it matter to you... Because I saw some people, you know, because they were talking about it, it was rushed, it, pop, it was to pop a rating, all of that. Does it matter to you why it was done this week? Like, or or that it was done this week? Like, did, does it feel rushed to you that, that, that he cashed it in now as opposed to waiting? You know, because I know what, Money in the Bank was July. So it's two months um, out, of, out of 12. Like, yeah, I mean... He could have waited the entire year or waited till January or something like that. But like, does it, does it big E's WWE champion? Does it matter to you why it happened in, in the second week of September? No. First Monday night football game, I assume. As is the why, probably the why. Yeah. I mean, for the TV show rating, I, I mean, again, what, what would it matter? The, the, the ends, yeah, no, it doesn't matter at all. Doesn't doesn't matter, to Devin. Yeah, it doesn't matter to me. Yeah, just nothing matters to me, to me though. In this situation, well, that's true. Nothing, not much, not much, not much. I don't want to say you don't want to say nothing matters. To not you, much, because you do get angry about things sometimes. Very strange, like uh, things that that they change the soda, right? Arby's the Arby's switched from Pepsi to Coke. That mattered to Ryan. That was a big deal. That really was a big deal. See, now because you're going to get pissed about this. Even because though I used Coke to, is superior to Pepsi? Um, Coke is superior to Pepsi, but when I, when I get used to eating a certain brand of food and washing it down with a delicious... Here's the deal. Let's say you go to your favorite Taco Bell and you have to get a Coke. It's just not right. I, it I ain't. Could, I, right, because, be, yeah, you want to get the Baja Blast. You want to get the Mountain Dew, the Baja Blast. Right, so I'm, I'm used to drinking a Mountain Dew while washing the, down my delicious curly fries. Okay. all right. Don't get me that. started on Crinkle Cut. I mean, they're, the Arby's Crinkle Cut fries are fantastic. Ugh. But if you're going to Arby's, why aren't you just getting curly fries? Bingo. Because you can also get Crinkle Fries. Like, why are you stopping at just one cup of fries? I mean, I, I don't dislike crinkle cut fries like Ryan does, but if I have a choice between a curly fry and a crinkle cut fry, I'm choosing curly every time. I mean, some days I feel crinkly. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> well, some days you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, so, like Ryan, if you went to now, you have you recovered? You've adjusted. You've been able to eat Arby's. And get and get a Coca Cola, and you've adjusted your life. You've settled in. You might not be happy about it, right? I've moved on, but yes. What? What if you went to McDonald's and you went to order your your Big Mac and your French fries, so good. And your hot fudge sundae, mm. and uh, you said, "I want a large Coca Cola," and they said, "We serve Pepsi now." I'd say. I don't know what I would say. Yeah, I mean, I would take a, ma- I would drink a Mountain Dew, but it wouldn't taste right. A, a a Big Mac with a Mountain Dew? Are you shitting me? How insane does that sound? <laughs> I mean, that, that that does sound weird because McDonald's. Do you even hear yourself? Because McDonald's does have the best Coca Cola, so that would be like I think I think McDonald's if McDonald's would switch. Like, imagine you you eat the quarter pounder with cheese. Imagine spigging down a fucking. Pepsi with that, it just doesn't one, taste right. That one might be. That one it's might just be different. Like, I if if Burger King switched, if Wendy's switched, if Arby's switched again, 
Subway, I could I could handle it. Like I, I feel like I would struggle to to handle McDonald's. So my my real problem is I I don't replace a cola with a cola. I drink Coke. That's the cola. I don't enjoy Pepsi, so I would drink the citrusy Mountain Dew. So I would then have to switch it to a cola beverage after I'm used to drinking and eating that food with a citrus beverage. That I think is the biggest issue that I had had with RB switching. This happened like, why bring it up? It happened like four years ago. Because <laughs> you, you, you said you, nothing really, bothered you. Because you, yeah, you said nothing bothered you, which I know that's is fair. I, I did it to myself, Shane McMahon. <laughs> the best in the world. That one felt longer than normal. Hey, That's that one. Said. That one felt long. Um, I don't hear that. <laughs> um. Yeah. Any other any other thoughts on Big E's cash in and title win on Monday? Who do you think? Who do you think? How do you? How long do you think this title reign is going to last? Like it should be a long title reign, but how long do you think WWE is this? Like I really hope this isn't a a a, a short term title reign because it should absolutely should not be. How long do you think this the, this title reign goes? I'll I'll say. Uh, how how many months until Mania? If you think it's gonna go till Mania, that's seven months. Yeah, maybe Rumble. We got. I don't we think have, we have Crown Jewel coming up. Oh. <laughs> Big E doesn't make it out of the year as champion. Really? Okay. No, no I don't think so. So, like Survivor Series, maybe. Uh, or they, less they... less than three months. I'll go one better. Oh no. He doesn't make it out of the fall. Ooh. So wait, like, I mean, that's December. That's basically what Ryan said. I'm saying he loses it before December. Okay. Like he now, he loses the title. He is a, a prime candidate for guy who loses the title before the big cross-branded Survivor Series matchup. Jeez. See, I thought somebody had a really great idea um, for... Did you know, Vince have that idea? Uh, no, Vince didn't have that idea. Um, but, you know, Big E's WWE champion, Roman Reigns Universal champion. At Survivor Series, we generally have seen, like, the SmackDown champions versus the Raw champions. Um... If between now and then, um, Kofi and Xavier win the Raw Tag Titles, the Usos are currently the SmackDown Tag Champions. Correct? Do the uh, the Bloodline versus the New Day at Survivor Series? And I, because they don't do they don't do title matches at Survivor Series anyway. Um, personally, I, I like I would love that. I think that's a fantastic idea i mean but here's another question too does roman make it to summer survivor series as champion mm, we're we're gonna kind of talk about that in a minute um yeah. is goldberg going to saudi arabia i hope not <laughs> but <laughs> but he might be i um, mean who does Big E face at sands of time I think it's I think it's Bob Lashley. Bob. I think it's Bob. 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 Because, like you, you know, do we think Goldberg even does that show? Because they announced today, Lesnar. It's Lesnar and Reigns. Do you really need? Not that we ever really need, but do you need Goldberg on that show? 
does the crown prince need Goldberg on that show? And the crown prince needs the ultimate warrior and Yakazuma on that show, apparently, but I have a hard time getting either of those guys. Um, I'll give it, I'll give it, I'll give it the rumble. I'll give Big E to the rumble. He'll lose it at the rumble. Matt, did you? T- I don't think he makes it to the rumble. No. Okay. Devin, uh, it just doesn't Devin, feel good. Four, I don't know. Five. It felt great on on Monday, but whew. now that we're talking about this, it, it's like, wait a minute, this is gonna end up. This is gonna end up as well. Well, yeah. I mean, what will happen is the ratings won't be as high next Monday, and Vince will see. See, people hate it. Get that belt <laughs> off of him. <laughs> go back. Go back to Goldberg. Where's Bill? Um, where, <laughs> Bill? Hey, Bill! I need you. I need you, guy. You know, you know what you do to me. It turns me on. Um, but first let, you told me to win the NXT championship. Now you want me to win this one too? Oh, wrong button. <laughs> it turns me on. I like that they're so close, though. They they are. There are a couple lines of I accidentally scroll, which oh, I did. Oh. Uh, I will end up there. 